Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Hospital. We are back here in the flesh, uh, back again with another episode. Uh, we're kind of in like a really uh, very spicy time right now, money-wise. Uh, we are hitting with the, uh, you know, <laughs> negative $5,000, but we are turning the clock into, uh, it, it is midnight, right? Obviously, it's midnight. We just turned the clock over. So yesterday, we actually did end up making a profit even though we are kind of struggling to come back. It's not that we're struggling as, as, as a company overall. Well, I say company, god damn, right? Uh, not, not in that regard. We're not struggling as an institution. As, as... Look, we're not struggling uh, to get our way back. It just takes time because of how much we have um, really like spent. And I'm looking at you, friggin' uh, internal medicine. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Because the thing with internal medicine is that People do come, but most of them are not HDU. Most of them are regular, right? So, um, and they stay for a while. That's the thing. They stay for a while because they need it. That, that's real. That, that's obviously realistic and all that and whatnot. So, today, we're going to let this go by here. Let's go quickly through this night. I have a good feeling. We have projections of 119 patients coming in. It might get a little chaotic, I will say, but um, I'm looking... I'm looking Fingers crossed. That's what I'm, I'm doing here. I, I'm, I'm hoping for the good stuff, right? Good sauce all together. Now, we only have two pharmacies in this big pharmacy at nighttime, but I believe this is actually going to change. Uh, let me just double check this real quick. I believe this is going to change in daytime. Yes, there is four and four. Is there actually four and four of each? No, there's three nighttime and four daytime. Is it enough? Really, I'm not sure. Uh, but we are still trying to like technically work on Jessica here. Uh, to make her the, um, uh, what is it called? The reach fellow level, I guess. Yeah, fellow level. So we are trying to hurt, not hurt her. God damn. Uh, we're trying to get her done. Trying to do her thing. Trying to get her going. That's what we're trying to do. So that's why I kind of have what's going on here. Like, you know, I'm like kind of babysitting her in a way. And she only does work during the nighttime. So uh, there's not a lot of experience. Maybe I should switch her to the daytime, really, honestly. But uh, we did open up. Yeah, we did open up a couple more doctor's offices off to the to the to the west here, you could say, uh, to bring in more emergency emergency because our clinic overall in the emergency room was actually being overran uh, and it was critical all the time, all the time. Right. Oh, so this is bad. Hey, at least we diagnosed her very well. Let's get those going on. Uh, there you go. Get her some steroids and she should be right on her way. Yeah. So, yeah, that, 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 that's that's what what's really happening here. Uh, anything else going on? Uh, oh, God. Yep. You're good. You're good. You're good. Go home, lady. Yeah, you're good to go. Anything else going on uh, here in this hospital? Not really. Uh, we're just kind of recovering from just in internal medicine uh, and trying to basically where we left off. If you don't remember, because it's been, a, you know, it's been a sec before our last episode. But if you if you did forget, I will remind you. Uh, we were just kind of taking care of critical and trying to get our money back towards the end of the last episode. Uh, patient is collapsing. Look, this is sur general surgery department. Um, where are they actually collapsing? In the freaking bathroom. Uh, that's like the first person I've ever seen collapse in the bathroom. Dehydration. You know what, James Moore? I'm sorry to say. That, that is terrible. Terrible, but I, I, I really uh, have other fish to fry <laughs> at this moment. Even though you just got fried. Um, anyways... So let's see where our money ends up here. There is a long wait for an examination. Bend required for this. Okay, interview. Your staff might be busy. We might be running into a little bit of a staff problem too. That's also another thing. Let's actually go ahead and click on Charles and see where he is actually at. He is in the regular ward. Very well. Yeah, so there might be a little bit of um, uh, cardiology staff issues that we haven't checked in, Kong, because it checked in on. Not Kong. Because it has been a while since we've done really any improvement staff relatable uh, since uh, since cardiology opened. So it's been a while. We It definitely has been a while. I don't even know what the full... Yeah, yeah, okay. So there is like a couple of nurses that we could actually add. And since this is the daytime... Um, sorry, the nighttime. We have a full night crew, don't we? We do. Hmm. Interesting. Full night crew, still don't have enough staff, could be, or we could be like running out on equipment, which I don't think that's what it is, because none of our equipment is really uh, overloaded. Medium, low, low, they're not overloaded. So, what I'm thinking about doing is hiring two daytime cardiologists, 
Now, I know it's nighttime, and it's kind of... It might feel ass backwards, but the, the my what I'm thinking here is that if I have daytime cardiologists, first of all, it's almost 6 a.m., 7 a.m., they're going to be coming in soon. Second of all, daytime cardiologists, or sorry, daytime nurses, if we have more, it might lower the pressure for the nighttime crew when the nighttime crew comes in. That's That's my theory behind it. I don't know what you think about that, but that's my theory behind that. Uh, so let's see here. Let's see what we have here. So for daytime, this is going to be for daytime. What should we look for? I hate the long commutes. I, I can't stand the long commutes. Uh, fresh parent, you know, is whatever. Does not take free time. Hard worker does not take free time breaks. But damn it, you are a hell of a patient care person here. Get hired. Uh, next, let's see here. And she had no hidden traits from us either. So that was even good. This person has a hidden trait. This person has a hidden trait. I'm going to go with the cheaper one, 207, because their percentages are just about there. Actually, you know what? This person's younger. Let's go for the younger one. There we go. So those are two more additional daytime nurses that we have for our cardiology department. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping that it, it relaxes the nighttime a little bit if daytime can get more and more so as you can see this guy the guy that we were worried about charles right charles johnson i'm pretty sure that's who we were worried about uh he's already been taken care of he's going directly where he needs to go uh he has you know the the stretcher people the the, the, the staff took care of him already so he's gonna get uh done here so that's something i'm gonna back away from that <laughs> and let's see that down here at the emergency clinic so a clinic a patient is about to leave a clinic has been Patient has been uh, seen by a doctor for, or hasn't been seen by a doctor for a very long time. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, especially when it is the nighttime doing here. So there is a couple of people over here during the nighttime clinic. Now, there might not be any nighttime uh, doctors over here. Yeah, there isn't. And um, that's fine and all, maybe. But let's see. Uh, if you cannot be seen over here, what to about over here, right? Doesn't seem too busy. Even down here? Well, you know what? All right. You know what? I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. We will do one nighttime doctor in the West Wing. And we will hire... Son of a gun, I would have hired you for a night owl. But you are absolutely... Nothing is going for you. You have zero on everything. No. This is better. Practical diagnosis? You know what? Get hired. You're not the best doctor. The, none of these doctors, doctors are necessarily good. But I'll take this. What's your name? John Harris? Get hired. And let's see him go to work now. That's one thing we want to avoid. We really want to avoid um, clinic, emergency clinics, uh, overload, waiting too long, things like that. We, we, we got to get rid of that. So that person's done. This person should be next. The guy that's been waiting for a long time. He is done. Or not. He's not done. But he is actually getting in. Procedures have finished for a diagnosed patient. That's good. Fantastic. Uh, I should be able to just send you off. And you should be able to go home, right? Can we not treat you? What is your problem? You need general surgery department. Okay. So just like switch you over to general surgery. Right? And hit you with the brook. And she should be able to take care of you. Yeah? I think that's right. Because we know your diagnosis. All you got to do is go be taken care of that doctor. The doctor can prescribe you anything you want. Right? I think that's how that works. Because our intern doctor, or the doctor that we have, the creative doctor, the chief doctor, the doctor has no idea what's going on. Doesn't seem like she knows what the hell she's doing. Uh, scheduled procedures have finished. Last was biopsy sampling. The patient is waiting for you to plan another treatment and send them home. Right. Uh, okay. Got it. Oh, I see. I'm an idiot. Maybe just give them a bunch of treatments. Right? Antibiotics. Don't at me. Okay, good. That's done. So, critical workload rooms during the nighttime was nil. That's good, obviously. Uh, now that it's 7 a.m., switch has now switched over, or shift has now switched over. $32,000 in the hole. That is not bad. That's not bad. I know it might seem weird, crazy, wild, but I don't think it's bad. So look at all these freaking people. This is so many, like, pixels on the screen here. <laughs> um, let's see what our doctor is at here. Judy, you already know what you have. Let's go ahead and diagnose. Let's go through here. There we go. Fantastic. Boom. Bam. Love it. Great. Get on your way. Jessica Wright, I need you to, like, level up, sweetheart. I do. I do. I need you to, like, like, be a fellow, not an attendee. I need you to be a fellow. Now, I don't know if, like, giving her training 
my 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 gamer brain says if I give her training, she, it would make her better. It would level her up faster. Maybe, yeah. It does cost a little bit of money, but that's what I'm thinking in my head there. Okay, let's move on. Hey, look at the money already. Yeah, all right. Employee level up. Perfect. Um, look at the like thirty two thousand dollars gone. Just like that. Just like that. Fantastic. Oh, this is great. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Now we are making moves. The fact that we have $27,000 at 8 a.m. This is the dream. Now, take a look at the pharmacy here. Take a look at the pharmacy here. This is the pharmacy that has about four people on average uh, working at the, at the same time. I know it doesn't look that, that way, but it's what it's supposed to be. We had nobody complaining about uh, pharmacy lines. So that's good. So patient is collapsing for this patient. Uh, right. Uh, this person was an emergency clinic as well. Look, you're going to collapse on me. That is what it is. Same with you. It is what it is. Now, I am kind of curious to see one section here. Receptionist. Take a look at this. This is an issue. This might be causing collapses as well. What is going on here? It's very obvious. We have nobody recepting here. What is this? Who's this for? No, no, no. Who is this for? What department is this? Please. Does this say cardiology? Is this an orthopedic? What is this? This is a internal medicine? Oh. Okay. This is an internal medicine. Very well. Um, and the receptionist is just not here. Because she's probably on break. Right? But there's three people waiting to, like, talk with the receptionist. One person over here. Now, how would you combat this? Simply have two receptionists. That would combat it. Now, I don't know if those were actually patients or if those were like visitors. I don't know how visitors work in this game. If somebody was coming to visit somebody in the hospital and be like, oh, I want to buy them a gift. Do they check in at receptionist to find their person? You might want to say, yeah, they do. Unless they, you know, if they haven't communicated with the actual patient, you think they would go to receptionist. I'm looking for... Johnson, he's in room 202, right? Kind of thing. Complicated diagnosis for Daniel Young. Let's see here. Yeah, that 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 that's pretty uh pretty complicated. However, holy crap, you've had tons done with you. Um let's check his organs. Let's give him a USG and tell me where that goes, please. Keep me updated on that. I appreciate that. There we go. This part of the hospital is so, like, unfinished that it it drives me nuts a little bit, but I know, like, eventually we'll, we'll, we'll get it taken care of. Like, the fact that some people are, like, having this long walk to go here to there to there to there, and, like, that sucks. The general surgery department people are, like, walking all the way over here, and I'm trying to figure out why they're walking all the way over here. I'm going to keep an eye on them to see what's going on, because why would they go all the way down here? Not sure. They should have everything they need. They have a water. Oh my god, do they, do they not have a bathroom? Pause it. Time out. Do they not have a bathroom? Does that department not have a bathroom? The department's bathroom is way over there, dude. Okay. 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 We gotta build a bathroom. We gotta build a bathroom for these folks, after all. Yeah, I built an entire room with no bathroom. Shame on me. Right, okay, so let's go just simple. Give me a, just give me a toilet. Just give me a, you know what? Actually put it in general surgery. Yeah, restroom. Uh, what kind of size? A six by four or a six by six? 2,000 or fi like $500 more, you get a bigger toilet. Okay, there we go. We'll do this. Where am I gonna put this? Put this right up against the, um, yeah, right up against the, ooh, shoot. If I put it up against the pharmacy, then that means there's no more expansion for the pharmacy. So I'm actually gonna, if I wanted to expand it more. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it right there and rotate it and make it into the hallway. And that will be that. So hopefully that cuts down these patients and making this trail a lot because I think what's happening, they were coming to the bathroom over here, right here, right there. Yeah. So hopefully that kind of fixes that situation. I did not realize there was no bathroom over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we have some patients going to the bathroom, using the bathroom. Very good. There we go. Look at that. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> All you had to do was 
build a bathroom. Patient is collapsing. Let's go and take, take a look on Elizabeth here. Pneumonia. All right, pneumonia. Very well. Uh, terrible to have. Uh, we need to treat her up with everything that we could possibly give her at this given time. And um, take her where she needs to go. You know? Take her. I ICU, I guess. Yeah. ICU. Take her to ICU. Look at our money. I don't mean to, like, brag, but we're doing a hell of a job. Oh, and by the way, take a look at the uh, goods and not goods. Uh, 111. 111 and a zero. Yeah, you love to see it. You so love to see it. We have not turned away a single patient today. Now, one thing I'm actually looking forward to is to kind of see where the critical workload statistic is going to hit us. Have we fixed a issue, so to speak? Um, the only thing that we are like still, I guess you could say that we're working on is this collapsing patients, patients that are collapsing. But even then, I mean, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah revive. Long wait for an examination. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Where are you at? Where are you? You're right here? Are you in the trauma center? You are in the trauma center. So this is a very spicy thing here. What's so spicy? Is if I wanted to get ambulances in. <laughs> I wanted to get ambulances in. Uh, there's going to be a lot of this, probably. Uh, bed required for examination. Physical examination. is Occupied of your staff or your staff has been busy for a long time. I'm going to go with the latter here. I think it's going to be, well, actually, well, maybe not. Well, yeah, you know what? I think this is a staff problem. As two staff members are sitting literally on their ass. Okay, I don't think this is a staff problem. I'm interested. Where is he wanting to be transported to? He's waiting for a doctor slash technologist for an examination. Okay, so he's actually waiting for an examination. Let's give him some treatment here. So maybe he's waiting for a doctor. Maybe it is a staff problem. Maybe it is a doctor problem, not a uh, nurse problem. So hang on a sec. Where are we in... What is this called? I guess emergency also. Where do we stand here? As far as doctors. Where's our doctors? Yeah, you know what? Let's add some more doctors. Yeah. Let's add some more doctors here. That seems about right. Early bird. You want to get hired for the early bird? I don't know what... You know what? I will spend the extra money to uh, see what you guys are hiding from me. You're early bird. You are also pleasant, but you are also depressed. Okay? I do not want an alcoholic. I do not necessarily want a long commute, but I love the good boss and the diagnostic genius. James Brown, I would love to do the james brown <laughs> uh not the dance the the dance not the uh not the uh not sexually um there we go okay james brown hired fantastic let's see what he does right so james brown what are you gonna go do my man you're gonna sit there was this a doctor problem now hang on a sec mary cole james brown let's check him out yeah there you go james there you go, James. There you go. Treat that patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treat him up. He needs a treatment. Now, he probably just gave him some, like, those. <laughs> some, like, pills and stuff. Uh, he probably is still waiting for transportation from somebody. But at least we can at least fill in a little bit of a need there. I guess you could say. I don't know. These staff people are kind of just chilling. Now... They are in patient transfers, so they can transfer transfer patients if they want to. They are here. Now, hang on a sec. That's emergency, yeah? Yeah, that's a that's emergency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Um, unless he's waiting for a bed to actually go to if he's wanting to go to a specific department. Um Then I'm trying to really figure that out because we don't even have a diagnosis for this person. We don't even know where to send him. That's the problem. Um at a looking at possible diagnosis, it looks like he's looking at internal medicine and or general surgery department. So any of those. But we really need to give him that diagnosis. So that's the most important thing here. Um, right. So maybe we do that and we go with a uh, temperature check, a CRP, and maybe a sampling. We'll see where we're at. Hang on a sec. Uh oh, patient is collapsing. Very well. Yep, there you go. Get him up. That's why they're in the trauma center. Yeah. Be on the alert here. Okay, let's see what this guy is all about here. 
Maybe we can get something done here. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Two workload criticals. That's good. Um, why is that good? Because we know we are lowering that statistic. Because before it was like sitting at four or five. Now we're looking at two. Crohn's disease, um, appendicitis, uh, ulcers, colitis. Um, this is a general surgery department type person here. So we know where to go here, kind of. Let's do a CT. Get a CT scheduled for him. And then in this here, open statistics. Let's see what department is actually getting hit here. It's not emergency. Believe it or not. It's not emergency. My guess it's radiology. One. One. Fair enough. Medical labs? Administrator. Administrator. My guess? Radiology? Pharmacies. Those are the two things that are really holding us down. Right? So let's see here. Let's see which room it is. Let me move this out of the way here. Let's open this up. Uh, let's see. What is at a critical overload? Believe it or not, these are not. Uh, these guys have an extra slot. This is a high workload. So if we said, you know what? They have a low workload at, night, at nighttime. Hire another like technologist here uh, during the day. Biochemist. Night Owl. Early Bird. Uh, early Bird and a Gamer. Get hired Jonah Hill. Sorry, John Hall. <laughs> um, <laughs> that'd be kind of sick though. But uh, this is high. Fair enough. This is medium. Okay. Let's go upstairs. What is my critical administrative? Critical limit. Okay, here we go. Pharmacy upstairs. Critical state. That is not that bad. It's not even something to really worry about. But I will take care of this. So, let's see here. That is that. Let's go to radiology. And let's move over there to see where our critical is at here. Uh, this is me. Oh, here we go. This is it right here. Critical. This is the, what room is this? This is the CT room. So we have a CT room that is going critical on us. Does it prompt for us to, to have another CT room? Probably. You probably could have a good case there and be like, you know what? Having another CT is not a bad idea. Um, especially with people coming in for internal medicine, cardiology. Do you use cardiology for CT? I don't even know. Maybe internal medicine slash general surgery department. If there's more of those customers coming in, I say customers, patients. Uh, yeah, CT scan might be the way to go here. Yeah, 100%. And I have room to do it. Problem is, it's a pretty freaking penny. I tell you what. Uh, CT room is $44,000. We would go into debt slightly for this. But it would take care of that problem. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disregard that. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to see what happens. If we get back-to-back -back days where, yes, we need to, like, we get back-to-back -back days where the CT is, like, understaffed, or not understaffed, I guess, uh, is at a critical workload, then maybe we'll, we'll think about getting another one in. Now, over here, to our E, uh, to our freaking this, our pharmacy department, this is not too bad to fix. I can add another just like that and just like that. We can have more pharmacists in here at no problem, like, no problem at all. Green place in place so it would be hang on i'll rotate that so you can see that a little bit better it would be a um why is every why 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 <laughs> why everyone have a different chair D no 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 it needs to be green please thank you all right is that the same chair yet yeah, that's the same chair it would be jam-packed if you're an actual pharmacist and you see this this is actually hell us this is practical kind of <laughs> this is uh getting rid of us getting rid of a a problem here so where is the where is it coming low the workload's coming in at the at the daytime so let's hire an additional uh, pharmacist here i will pay the extra thousand to see where we're at hard worker 90 no 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 sorry we're looking at the wrong one we need to go pharmacist please uh, pharmacy 38 39 37 7 39% seems pretty cool. Depressed kind of sucks. Rest levels decrease slower. Uh, love the loyalty. Love the hard worker. Hate the fact that you're a night owl. I mean, you would still do good. 
don't get me wrong, you still do good, but I don't want to hire someone who, you know what, F that. Even though she won't be able to use the Night Owl trait. I stand corrected. She will be able to use the Night Owl uh, trait. Why? Just take somebody who's on Night Shift right now and switch them to Day Shift. There you go. This person is an actual Night Owl also. <laughs> uh, this person is not a Night Owl. Instead, they're a fresh parent and they are comforting. Very good. So in that case, Frank Wright, be prepared to uh, be shifted onto Day Shift. So Frank Wright, perfect. Then, instead, now we will hire Elizabeth Thomas, which, now thinking about it, do we really need two people, two nighttime people in this pharmacy? Where's our workload at night if we take it at, at, at just all together? You know what? We don't. Take a look at this. Our workload at night is almost no workload at all and five low. Not even touching medium, not even touching high. You know what? That's what we'll do. Just like that. We've adjusted and didn't have to spend a freaking dime. That's how you play the game. <laughs> That's how you play the game. All right, let's continue. Whew. We're just we're just making some minor adjustments. That's all it is. Minor adjustments. Try to make it more uh, efficient as a hospital um, and see where we stand here at midnight. See how much money we made over the day. I uh, hate the fact that our janitors are kind of getting their asses handed to in the hallways here. So that kind of sucks. Let's let's give them some maybe, if anything, if we're spending money on anything, maybe give them a little bit of backup here. Yeah. Um, where do we stand here as far as cleaning closet? I think it's the one cleaning closet right there. That dinky little thing is actually supporting this entire department. Right. So let's fix that. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it down here. Maybe that's an excuse to put something off over here. You think? Uh, actually, it might be. Perfectly. Boom. We'll go there. Come over here. Slide in with some walls. Perfect. Perfect. Love that. Love that indeed. Um, and then door me up. Put in the door right there. And that's good for now. And then for the flooring, kind of go through here. Because I did talk about how I wanted this to be a through hallway. That's exactly what we're doing now. This is now becoming a through hallway. So let's go ahead and delete that. Sorry, delete this wall. More access through there. And then, oh, also delete this. And then delete that for now. Doesn't mean this area will not be filled with more stuff. It could definitely be filled with more stuff. Could we even expand the pharmacy in the future? But for right now, let's just do that. And then in here, let's put what we need. We need a shelf, two shelves, we need a bucket, two buckets. Um, that is going to give us two people. Damn it, I need to get some flooring done too. There we go. Now this should really take care of this area. So this general surgery department was done by one person. <laughs> we should really be able to, wait, is this a, sorry, general surgery? There we go. We really need to bump this out and this will be bumped out here. So Jane Miller, let's put you in front of the screen so I'm not blocking anything. Night Owl, okay. I see a Night Owl. First things first, let's hire that Night Owl because that was actually a pretty decent, uh, yeah, very decent, um, <laughs> very decent janitor indeed so there we go and maybe i just hire one crew at a time here another day another night that's it uh, efficiency looking good here person is slow which is like dexterity affect the cleaning speed but the fact that you're slow I, it's kind of counterproductive right we'll hire you regardless there you go okay so let, let's watch those guys bump out there we go Look at him. He's an actual god. Casey Martin already on the job. Patient is collapsing. Your staff will do their best to keep them uh, alive. Richard Walker. Richard Walker. Uh, somebody like get his stuff taken care of. Let's go. Hurry up on that. Continue. There we go. This is what we wanted. This is another thing that we can just 
check off the list. Taking care of this issue. All right, patient has collapsed. You know what? One thing at a time. What, what am I supposed to do? I can only do so much. Now, the, the, the thing here is that our corridor needs to come out this way now for general surgery. Uh, this is going to be something that we need to take care of now. There we go. We'll push that out that way and then this way. And I'm kind of tempted to go out this way. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that anyways. Now, these corridors might change in the future, but that, that's good for right now. Just so we can have some coverage here. Uh, you know what? Thinking about it. Man, this is going to be a, this is going to be, the general surgery department has some of the biggest, biggest corridors that they need to fulfill. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's not what I wanted. There we go. You know what? Just make this all one. Just so I'm happy with it. Okay. There we go. Go through there. Good job. Anyways, um, yeah, so General Surgery Department has one of the biggest corridors and has the lowest janitors, right? So I'm actually kind of tempted to hire another crew just because. Because that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot for them. So uh, I hate the long commute, but I will hire Sarah Lee because she's going to be early bird for daytime shift. And then nighttime shift, we'll add another. We'll hire Richard Clark. Fine. There we go. There. So now we have a little bit backup. Things should get looking a lot better now going forward. Uh, cleaning wise, cleanliness wise, cleanliness, cleanliness wise. Uh, we're about to hit midnight here, which at midnight, we will see where we stand. Did we make a profit? Probably. Uh, was it a big profit? I don't know. Now look at this over here. This is a very, very, very bad area right here too. Uh, what is this considered? ICU? Yeah. Uh, I see you. Corridor. Bring it up. No, we don't even have that corridor off. That's a problem. So let's make sure we fix that. And then our janitors will be able to uh, get in there. There we go. And then that should uh, really be cleaned up eventually here uh, later on. Good. All right. I like it. I dig it. I'm all about it. Where's midnight? Coming up. Here we go. Let's check the numbers as we run into midnight. Just give it a sec. There it is. All right. So the daily news state election is coming. New public health policies causes 30% higher insurance payouts for two days. So that means way more money coming into our pockets for the next two days, 30% more. Um, and we're still projected to see 119 patients today. Incredible. Incredible. Love it. Okay. Take a look at the budget. Let's go. Yesterday. Huge numbers. Huge numbers. Right? Huge numbers. $44,000. Now, easily you could say, pay back some of that loan. You're right. Probably. But I'm not doing it yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to pull the trigger on paying back some of that loan quite yet. Not yet. No. All right, let's continue. Overall, I think uh, we're doing good. Yes, the patients that are collapsing is like obviously an issue. Right. Um, and I'm doing my best to try my best to, to make sure that these things don't happen. But when you're running a semi automated, right, it, it, it's hard to not. Right. Uh oh, what happened here? Paul Smith figured you out very easily. There you go. Take that. Um, what do you need? You need IVs. So in order to have IVs, you need hospitalization. For you to have hospitalization, um, you need to have a bed. Uh, we don't have a bed in internal medicine open, do we? We should have an HDU. Hospitalize this patient at the high dependency unit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, so you'll be good. So let's go internal medicine. HDU. IV. Send it. Have a good day, Paul. There you go. That's easy enough, right? Shouldn't be that complicated. There you go, folks. <laughs> now, gift shops. I don't know. We don't have a lot of gift shops. We just have that one. I don't think we have another one. So having a gift shop by the general surgery department might be something to think about. Patients collapsing here. Um, where do they come up with these letters in, in all this? Bronco pneumonia? It's like a bronchitis slash pneumonia type? I don't even know. Um, give her everything that she needs. What does she need ultimately? She just needs IVs. Is she actually in bed? Oh yeah, she is. Okay. She's in bed. She's just collapsing. Now, 
the fact that she's collapsing in bed um, is bad. That kind of tells me poss possibly a staff problem here. Possibly. Um, and this is technically during the nighttime too. So maybe what we need is more nurses. Maybe more doctors. I'm really not sure how, how that goes. If someone is... So, okay. Obviously, these doctors look like they're like, you know, hey, we got better shit to do. We got better shit to do. And the people that are busy is the nurses. <clears throat> so we might need to add a little bit more nurse game to our to our game here. Nurse game to our game. Might need to add a little bit more nurses up here for internal medicine. To be fair, though, that's a long ass walk, right? That's a long ass walk to these guys. So I might throw in a little bit of something spicy. And I think I'm going to. So for internal medicine, internal medicine, I would like to do. What would I like to do? I would like to do. I would like to do a nurse station down the hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nurse station down the hallway here. I might do a nurse and a doctor one. I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't think they are getting hammered out by a diagnostic unit. I think they're okay. Is there a unit up here? Yeah. Low, none, medium to low. So they're fine on the units overall. Nurse's station. Let's throw one right here. Use the little bit of area that we have. Use the space. As best that we can. Uh, so we'll do a nurse's station there. Since they don't have to like. Walk. A thousand feet. I need foundation first. Go. Go. And there we go. Okay yeah. I'm hoping this will stop. Because it's, 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 it's honestly unnecessary. <laughs> it's super unnecessary for patients to be collapsing. Not super unnecessary. It does happen in real life. But I mean like. I don't want it to happen in my place here, right? We don't want patients collapsing because they are in bed. And maybe because it took them an hour and a half to walk down the hallway, right? We want to have nurses on standby anywhere, at least, for the most part. More wheelchairs. I always forget to add more wheelchairs. I do. I always forget that. Okay, so let's go desk. How many nurses do I how many nurses do I want in here? Not too many, because it is just an immediate thing. Um, I would like to have some equipment. Uh, maybe slide that in right there. Yeah, add some equipment. We obviously want them to have their own PCs and stuff like that. Boom, boom, and boom. And then have them have their chairs. Not green. Maybe blue is fine. I don't actually, you know, green for internal medicine. Okay, there we go. There we go. And there we go. And then a meal tray. <laughs> Gotta have a meal tray. Even though they don't push it around or anything like that. And then a stretcher. If we can. If it won't be blocked. Doesn't look like it will be blocked. And then a wheelchair to go along with the stretcher. Perfect. It technically works. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look practical. But it technically works, and that's what matters here. So there we go. And all we need to do now is just add the staff that needs to go in there. So, nurses. Um, slow, I hate. Early bird, I love. Jane Jones, get hired. What the hell just happened? No, no, no. Jane Jones, get hired. Nighttime shift. Night out hard worker, get hired. Perfect. I'm just going to add those two. Um, and they're going to be over here. So now... Take a look. Hang on. Patient is collapsed, right? This is the patient, right? Is this the patient that collapsed? Susan Walker. Okay. Interesting enough. The doctor is now talking to her. The doctor is like, hey, um, you know, this is what we're going to do for you. We'll see. It looks like she's going to be transferred to ICU, I think, is what's happening here. Collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. No free bed in ICU. That's a problem. Uh, there is no waiting room available around a diagnostic. Oh my god. What do you want? A sonograph? A sonograph? Wait a sec. Hang on. 
dude, there's like 20 things happening right now. Um, what is this? That's general surgery. What is this? Sonograph. Okay, sonograph. You should be able to go in here, right? Right, Daniel? Where are you? Daniel, there's no one in there. Daniel? Hey, Daniel? Uh, there's nobody in there. Um, there's nobody in there. Like, you, you should be able to walk in there. No problem. Collapse patient is being transported to another hospital. Son of a gun. That's... Ah, uh, dang it. Okay. All right, so... We need more ICUs. We need more ICUs. Are we really full back here on ICUs? There's a patient in there. There's a patient in there. Doesn't seem like there's a patient in here. But I think there is a patient in here. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's not showing a patient, but the doctor is doing something here. There's a patient in there. Okay. Add more ICU. Add more ICUs. I I, I understand now. Okay, great. So I, I hate that for an ICU room, this being so small, right? But it's gaming, dude. I'm gaming over here, right? So uh, let's see here. Let's go ICU. We only have four. I mean, that is impressive. How big is this? Six by three. Okay, six by three. So we can get away with a six by three room. We've done it. We've seen it. There it is. Let's get into the six by three. Foundation. Good. Uh, walls. Okay. Uh, door, right? <laughs> And if we want to add stuff like a freaking, um, hot, like not a hospital, we want to add a damn ambulance into the mix. We got to up our trauma and ICU game. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Okay. So, uh, uh, modern bed, I guess. Is that the same one that guy's rolling with? Sure. And okay, we'll put that in. Um, uh, right. A, D a defib needs to go. How does that go? How did I do that room? A defib on the wall? Yeah, defib on the wall. Like right here. Okay. Medical equipment that was like over here. Okay. A, <laughs> a dispenser. Uh, you know, dispenser man. Put that right there. A fast USG. I can't really see. I gotta get a rotation here. No, not up, you idiot. Side. Okay, there we go. That's a, that's, that's a little bit better. Okay, so a USG, a life monitor needs to go right there. A life support needs to go right there. A mechanical ventilator needs to go... I guess right there. A mobile work. This is going to cost a lot of uh, money. Mobile workstation. Can go right there. A stretcher. Oh, shoot. I did this wrong. Uh, move that over to the side, I think. And then move this door. Yeah, we got to move the door. Because the stretcher has to go right there. Okay, and then we'll move the door. Don't worry about it. The fast USG, I think, can go on the uh, work tables. We have to we have to move this over then. The defib. We'll add the equipment table right there. Perfect. We'll add another medical cabinet or equipment cabinet, whatever the hell it's called, right there. We'll put the CRP right there. Uh, the fast USG right there. The hematology uh, thing, I believe, goes on there. Yeah. Yeah. Hematology goes right there. Chart board. Perfect. And then a bed socket. Should go right there. Good. Now, why the hell are you telling me I don't have a bed in there? I have a bed in there. Trust me. I have a bed in there. It's right. It's right there. The bed is right there. So. Did I put the wrong bed in? Do I need to put in a high-tech one instead? Let's see here. High-tech? There we go. I guess a high-tech one. Okay, great. Okay, so now the only thing we need to do is fix the doorway. So let's do that. Let's get our door at. There we go. Get rid of that. Perfect. 
and then uh, this should be good to go. Yeah, this should be technically usable. And it is. It is usable. Very good. So we have an open ICU bed now. No more complaints in the ICU department. Who knows? ICU department might even bleed into this. I have talked about this being internal medicine appointment doctor setting, but hell, might be ICU before we know it. So long wait for an HDU bed in general surgery department. Let's take a look at that. I totally forgot what I was doing upstairs now. Um, HDU. General surgery, you're, you're right to complain. You are absolutely right to complain. Um, I, I totally get you there, Rachel. I get it. Um, I will fix that issue right now. Taking care of people. That's what we're doing right now. Now, what I'm about to do is very... Um, not practical. <laughs> I know. Believe me, I know. Uh, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for prefab. And I'm going to go for prefab uh, general surgery. And I'm going to do for the HDU. I know I didn't do prefab with the regular ward. But I'm going to be doing it with the HDU. It is what it is. I know. How much is it? $13,000. Slap my ass. My God. Okay. Uh, here we go. HDU. Put it in. There. Now, Rachel should be good to go. Yeah, she should be good to go. Stretcher should be coming. HU hospitalization inbound. Let's see where she's at. Where is she? Where is she now? Okay, yep. She's in the new beds. Perfect. All right. There we go. Done did that. It's very important that we get this stuff out today and get people in because it is a 30% increase. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to click on. It is a 30% increase, which means, look at the money, baby. 120%, 130%, 150%, and so on and so forth, right? Very good. I would really like to get this fellow doctor done because if we do get the fellow doctor done, it's going to pay off our loan. And then we could open in a traumatology clinic and or purchase five ambulances, right? And really get it started. <laughs> <laughs> really get it started right and then like kind of cry a little bit so one workload at night i'm not worried about it i'm gonna let that be what it is because the previous night we didn't have a workload problem now for the daytime that's gonna be question marks right question marks to see where we're at so 8 a.m is about to hit which means money is about to be deposited into our bank <laughs> everybody's gonna discharge Big money right there. Big money again. Another day back-to-back -back days with big money. Love to see it. And another day back-to-back -back with no pharmacy full problems. You can see it for yourself. This is out of control. The money is just popping out of the pharmacy, man. I love it. So that's good. Overall, very good. I'm going to let this day kind of like automate for itself and see what happens here. I'm very impressed with everything. Um... Hell, we're already at 10 a.m. and we haven't had really a problem yet, like notification. I know it's going to come. It's going to come. There's going to be somebody co collapsing somewhere, right? That just is what it is. Very interesting to take note here, right here. Receptionist in internal medicine. This is the only receptionist out of everybody that is actually being bombarded with people every morning, it seems like. Okay, so it took all the way to 1130 almost a.m. for Thomas Young to say, I'm collapsing. What is your problem? Cardiology problem. Right. Uh, somebody's going to take care of you. <laughs> I think you need to be uh, in an ICU. Really? Uh, so, yeah. He's going to go to the IC ICU. And they're going to figure his, his, his jank out there. Very good. Today is a money day. We got to bring it in. We got to get the money in. So, that guy should be fine. He should be taken care of. Uh, nobody is dying. I guess that's like the one thing to kind of like think about is yes, we are having people collapsing. Plenty of people are collapsing. Plenty. But nobody is actually dying. So be it, right? That's 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 what I like to hear. That's what I like to see as well. Overall though, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Imagine the series, right? Look, look at this. Hang on. There's actually a little bit of a backlog here. People in the radiology department. The series overall has had its ups and downs. I'm really feeling on top right now. And I'm just waiting for something to kick me in the nads and put me down to the ground. Patient is collapsing. Uh, what's Rachel Lopez going on here? Graves disease. Uh, right. Just the, just the name Graves disease just screams death. 
Like whoever came up with that that actual name for that should get a proper proper uh, middle finger. I will say. All right, they'll, they'll, they'll take care of her. She's not gonna die though. Now, pathology. If a pathology department were to pop up, we kind of want deaths because we get money out of them. I guess I don't know. It's it's a weird, weird, weird thing that involves business. Uh, employee specialization available for Dana Davis. Nice. Good job, Dava. Dana, not Dava. Dana. Um, you're a senior scientist now. Supervisor is Jessica Wright. <laughs> Your supervisor is the person that we're trying to level up as a doctor? Is that right? You want to go into advanced biochemistry? Yeah, do it. Send it. What I'm also going to do is I'm also going to look into... Uh, our doctor, Jessica, and I will send her on a uh, train if I can. How did I do that before? I guess I can't do it until she's in, right? And she's a night shift, so I can't do it until she's in. And we'll see. We'll see where her uh, where her training, ta like how much training she'll get. Because I'm assuming this bar right here, once you get it maxed out, you move up to the next level, right? Once you fill the bar, you go up to the next level. So if we give her training, will that bar go up? The gaming me, gamer, feels, yeah, duh. That's how it works. But I don't know if that's how that works. Regardless, everything else with the hospital? Pretty smooth, baby. Pretty smooth indeed. Now, I do want to buy ambulances. I do. I'm just a little nervous is all. Employee leveled up. Very good. I'm just a little nervous so is all. Why am I a little nervous? Very simple. Uh, I, we don't have the best trauma in ICU. That's that's the problem. But, that being said, I think I'm going to be not a coward. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to pull the trigger and be a little bit spicy here. And I think I'm going to purchase an ambulance. And we're going to test the ropes. Super, super super slowly i will start bringing ambulances back in Thirty-five thousand dollars. it opens up this uh oh disabled and slash enable er calls oh okay so we can actually all right we could we could deal with that micromanage that that's good now where does that take us in emergency department or sorry insurance departments it takes us nowhere why does it take us nowhere because they need five, right? They need five ambulances. However, five ambulances for the uninsured, three ambulance, three people for the cheapo care, two for that, five for that, so on and so forth. Let's see what happens. Will this go out today or will it not? Will it add more people to our count on every day? I have no idea, but we have an ambulance back in commission there's a part of me that wants to pull the trigger for two. There is. But let's not get too greedy here. Let's not get too greedy and let's see what happens. All right, now that night has shifted over, everyone's collapsing. I think that was a wonderful day. I think that was a really good day. How much money did we spend all together? Uh, almost 50,000. Workload. Take a look at that. Workload went from two during the day, now down to one. We are getting better at our craft. I'm guessing it's radiology because we did make a improvement for our pharmacy that was critical in the administrative slash pharmacy department, right? It's not critical anymore. So that worked. So then our radiology, wait a sec, two? Oh, workload at night. Oh, that was the second one. Okay, so two here. If anything, if I'm guessing it, it's going to be the CT, yeah? Let's see. CT? Is that our, is that our boy? Is that where we're at? Okay, low during the daytime. Okay, critical at night. What, what, what was this? The CAG room is now critical? Okay, interesting. Um, so the CT room wasn't critical after today. And the CAG room now is critical. I guess what's happening there is that it just depends on the day. It does. Now, the other critical room is probably in here, right? Yeah, the x-ray. However, I, I do believe... The game, we, we do deserve to have another x-ray. Oh, we have one up here. Yeah, I think radiology, it just depends on the day. It depends on who's coming through the door and what's happening. It, do, it doesn't really 
um it's hard to like put a stamp on it if you have extra revenue if you have extra disposable income uh that you have place down another radiology so that those problems don't happen anymore but overall um it's just there goes the ambulance oh my god it, it's it's a hit or miss right it's hit or miss it's like what day um what like today's a new day what radiology room is going to be busy today right it's like what patients are coming in today so there's not really much i can do about that other than to add more if i have the money to add more now a couple things I'm, I'm taking a look at here first things first jessica wright do your thing uh wait a sec jessica wright i would like to i would like to can i not train her Can I not train her? I thought I could train her. Can you only train her one time? Or am I looking in the wrong place here? Okay. Regardless, let her do her thing, I guess. Uh, she's on Michael Barkley, who could have rabies, but he doesn't have rabies. Uh, physical examination. We'll do a speech listening because it could be insomnia here. Physical examination. Chest. Speech. Show me what you got. Now, one thing I want to take a look is where... Since this ambulance went out, where does our trauma center look like? Where does our ICU look like? What is the person that's coming in here actually look like? Lisa, hospitalized, fractured, broken. You, you, you broke your arm, right? You broke your stuff. Let's see how fast a broken arm would take us here. Now, 20,000 things at once. Okay, patients collapsing. We're going to disregard you for right now. This person is, is where we're at. Now, it is a 50-50% chance of what it could be. We could do a, 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 a differential uh, diagnosis here. We can take you to there, give you a physical there, but we should be giving you every treatment that we can right now. Give you a differential diagnosis, and let's see where this goes. Doctor, doctor, come in, please, Elizabeth. There's Elizabeth right there. Fantastic. Let's see what you got. Now, there's not a whiteboard in here, I don't think. But I don't know how they do the differential diagnosis in here. Okay, they're doing it right now currently. Or at least Elizabeth is. I think she's going back to another thing. Still still trying to treat her for what she has. This is a very complicated situation here. It is going into midnight. That's why the game kind of stopped there. Okay. Uh, like, honestly, just do a physical examination and probably get this done now. You could send her to the x-ray room and get this done a lot faster. I thought this was going to be way faster than it was. Patient can't be fully treated. Treatment for patients with diagnosis is not available. Blood transfusion, make it quick, or the patient is about to leave. Like, honestly, I'm just focusing on one thing right now. I just want to see how this works out for us. Because this is a... this Get out of here, Nancy. This is somebody who is who came in here through an ambulance. And if they came in here through an ambulance, I want to make sure this gets done quickly. And it doesn't seem like it's getting done quickly. And that's what's irritating me right now. Uh, why? Why is this not being done quickly? Where is Elizabeth? Is she on a break? Did she take a 20-minute smoke? Like, what? Okay, here we go. She's back. She's gone. I have to feel like it's the... I'm going to get rid of that differential di diagnosis. Somebody come in here and just give her a physical exam. We might be able to figure out just like that. They keep coming to this computer. Yeah, physical exam didn't do anything. All right. X-ray could probably do it. They are throwing in a differential diagnosis. They figured it out. It was a complicated fracture of the humerus. That's probably why it's because it was complicated. Okay, so we're going to need to put you in surgery. Where do you need to go? What department, actually? You need to go orthopedic. So you go to surgery. Now, um... And you'll be hospitalized. And then some nurses should come in and take you out. Now we have another person that just came in. A knee? Problem? Okay. Give him everything he needs. Yeah, so this is this is this is it, right? This is this is the whole thing. Trauma is gonna be something, right? But it's it really depends on how fast we can get these people out of trauma. We're gonna need more trauma rooms. Yeah, we're gonna need to build more trauma rooms. It is what it is. It is what it is. I wonder if I could have two ambulance parking spots. Because if I could have one over here, maybe one over here, that would be good. But guys, I tell you what. This is, like, honestly getting out of hand. 
been a pleasure on being with you guys here today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like button. I will see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. Do as always. Take care.